Cybersecurity Awareness Month, Essential Cybersecurity Best Practices. Celebrated every October, Cybersecurity Awareness Month is a global initiative that educates individuals and businesses on the importance of cybersecurity, promotes safer online practices, and raises awareness about the growing cyber threats in the digital world. In honor of Cybersecurity Awareness Month, we've produced this video with content designed to empower you and bring awareness by learning essential cybersecurity best practices to safeguard your data against evolving cyber threats. Topics covered in this video include tips for using strong passwords, utilizing multi-factor authentication, keeping your software updated, and recognizing and reporting phishing. We've also included additional resources and information to help you master cybersecurity best practices. To begin, let's discuss password security. Passwords serve as your first line of defense against cyber threats and potential data breaches. Here are some tips to strengthen password usage. Password creation. Avoid using personal information as this can be researched. Reference song lyrics, a quote you love, or a favorite place. Password length. The longer the better. The minimum requirement should be 10 to 12 characters. Password structure. Strong passwords should also include the use of special characters, a mix of uppercase and lowercase letters, and a mix of both numbers and letters. Change passwords regularly. By updating passwords frequently, hackers have less time to try to break the password and you also narrow the window of time in which someone might have access to your account. Never share passwords. Do not share passwords or logins with a colleague, even if you have the same job responsibilities. Don't repeat passwords. Do not use the same password for multiple systems, applications, or websites. Change default passwords. Default passwords for common systems and devices can be found on the internet, making it very easy for hackers to gain access. Limit login attempts. After the number of unsuccessful login attempts is reached, lock the account and require administrative assistance to unlock it. Use a password manager. A password manager allows for enhanced variation of password generation and you only need to remember a single password to access the tool. The password manager encrypts the stored information and protects it with a master password that only you know. Now let's discuss multi-factor authentication or MFA. MFA adds a second layer of security to help prevent anyone other than an authorized individual from gaining access to a secure system. In today's digital landscape, organizations that fail to implement MFA are putting their employees and customers at significant risk. How does MFA work? Many users reuse the same password across multiple accounts, so if a hacker obtains one set of credentials, several online accounts could be at risk of compromise. Even if hackers manage to steal a login ID and password through phishing or malware, they won't be able to access a system with MFA in place without that crucial second factor of authentication. The most common and convenient forms of MFA include using a mobile phone with an authentication app, receiving a text message with a one-time passcode after entering the initial password, or receiving a phone call to confirm your identity. These methods are relatively easy to implement and user-friendly, making them simple for end users to adopt. By implementing MFA, you can help mitigate the vulnerability caused by compromised access credentials almost immediately. Next, let's talk about the importance of performing regular software updates. Performing regular software updates helps maintain the security, efficiency, and functionality of your software, safeguarding your data and improving your overall user experience. Outdated software may have unpatched vulnerabilities, 
making it a target for cyber attacks, malware, and exploitation by hackers. Here are some critical reasons to update your software. Security. Updates often include patches for newly discovered vulnerabilities, reducing the risk of security breaches and cyber attacks. Bug fixes. They address and fix bugs or glitches, improving the stability and functionality of the software. Performance enhancements. Updates can optimize software performance, making it run more efficiently and smoothly. New features. They may introduce new features and improvements, enhancing your overall experience and productivity. Compatibility. Keeping software updated ensures compatibility with other current systems and applications, preventing potential issues. Compliance. Updates help ensure that your software complies with the latest standards and regulations, reducing legal and operational risks. Support. Updated software is more likely to receive ongoing support from the developer, including technical assistance and troubleshooting resources. Regularly updating your software not only safeguards your data and prevents potential disruptions, but also keeps you aligned with industry standards and best practices. Prioritizing updates helps to ensure a smooth, secure, and efficient user experience while mitigating risks associated with outdated software. The last essential cybersecurity best practice involves recognizing and reporting phishing. Email is consistently the number one entry point for information security threats, with 90% of breaches beginning with an email attack such as phishing. It's critical that you recognize the elements commonly used in phishing campaigns so you know how to respond. Here are some common phishing email indicators. Unusual sender information from unknown or suspicious senders, or those with a seemingly legitimate address but slight variations such as misspellings. Messages that create a sense of urgency or threat, such as warnings of account suspension or threats of legal action, urging you to act quickly. Suspicious links that appear to lead to legitimate websites but direct you to malicious sites. Hovering over the link without clicking can reveal the true URL. Requests for sensitive information such as passwords, social security numbers, or credit card details, especially if unsolicited. Phishing messages often contain grammatical errors, awkward phrasing, or spelling mistakes, which can be a sign of a scam. Email attachments or files that you weren't expecting might contain malware or viruses. Emails or messages that don't match the official branding or language of the supposed organization, including inconsistent logos or email signatures. Generic greetings like Dear Customer instead of using your name can indicate a mass phishing attempt. Messages that urge immediate action, such as confirming account details or verifying your identity to avoid consequences. Unusual requests or behaviors from people you know, such as asking for financial help or unusual personal details. If you receive a phishing attempt through work, report it to your IT or security department immediately. Want more cybersecurity tips and information? Check out this free download on our website, Cybersecurity Awareness Month, Securing Your Digital World, link found in the description box. In addition, you can find more resources including blog articles, infographics, checklists and templates, webinars, and more at campusguard.com forward slash insights. Have questions or need assistance with your cybersecurity and compliance programs? Campus Guard and its cybersecurity division, Redlands InfoSec, offer advanced cybersecurity solutions, including comprehensive IT security assessments for your business to gauge the strength of your IT security program. Contact a cybersecurity expert 
by visiting us at campusguard.com forward slash contact dash us.